Welcome back to season two of our digital offerings. We hope you've been well while we've been away working on new material to bring to you. Do you like the new look? Craig composed a new theme song, there's a catchy new name for the show, and the format is a little different, but still the same great music. Speaking of Craig, he asked me to do the opening. I know he's been really working hard on a bunch of other mid-Texas projects, but he's also been a little checked out lately. Not sure what's up with that. Anyway, we have a really interesting program for you filled with lots of beautiful music and a few surprises, all pleasant ones, and a fresh new face joining us. I'll let her introduce herself and the first piece. Hi, I'm Julie Post. I'm a violinist with the Mid-Texas Symphony, and I'm gonna tell you about Mendelssohn. Many have regarded Felix Mendelssohn as the greatest child prodigy after Mozart. He was a prolific composer from a very early age and produced masterpieces such as his string octet at age 16 and the beloved Overture to a Midsummer Night's Dream at age 17. The work we are about to perform for you, Erbst Lied or Autumn Song, comes from a set of six leader for women's voices and piano. These leader are typical of the era and meant to be sung in an intimate setting. This particular song was set to poetry by Carl Klingemann and you will be able to see his verses as we perform. Please enjoy Mendelssohn's Herbst Lead. I think I know what's going on. Craig recently celebrated a milestone birthday, but I think he's been feeling a little bit weird about it. First of all, he's been saying he's 50, which, I mean, he's been in the San Antonio Symphony for 38 years, so like when he joined when he was 12? Plus he told me the other day that the only thing that's been making him happy is listening to that record Frank Sinatra made when he got old. The one with like all the gloomy, oh, I used to be young once, my life is over. I can never remember the name of that one, just that it's like a real downer. 
I don't know if we should be worried about him or not. Let's check in on him and see how he's doing. Man, where did the time go? I mean, one day you're this guy, with your whole life ahead of you. Oh, bless it, Joe. And the next, you know, you're, you're 50. Oh, are you going on about that again? You know? Holly, come on. Can we play the song? Come on, just one more time. You know, you know the song. You told Please. me. You said, Holly, never play that song. Don't oh, play that song play anymore. Come on. Hey, look, man, I don't pay you to argue I with me. I hate to remind you, but you don't, don't pay me. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I don't pay you. Okay, well, uh, come on, you know. Can we just do it Let's one last time? All right, then. Come on. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I feel better now. You're welcome, yeah. Craig. And here's looking at you, kid. All right. Well, look, we got work to do, and the gang is waiting on us, so we better get uh, on with things. Uh, yeah. Man, it isn't easy turning 50. You're not 50! Okay, 60. Get off my back, man. Come on, let's go. We got work. Whew! Boy, it sure does feel good to get that all off my chest. You know, that may have been the world's shortest midlife crisis on record. All right, so let's get on. Let's get down to business. Okay, so um, obviously you figured out what the program is all about. It's all about music that's uh, about fall. Okay, so a concert program about fall would not be complete without the four seasons, right? Okay, so we're going to play for you fall from the Four Seasons. Oh, but you're expecting Vivaldi? That would be way too obvious for me, right? You've caught on to that by now. So, we gotta talk about Guido. Who are you calling Guido? Not you, Scalzo. Okay then. 
We're talking about Giovanni Antonio Guido, okay? He wrote a Four Seasons around the same time as Antonio Vivaldi. He even has poetry that goes along with the music, okay? You're gonna be able to see that in the performance. All right, so what's the deal with Guido, okay? Well, here's the problem. Uh, if you've never heard of him, it's not really your fault. It's because Guido worked under all three of his names. Mr. Giovanni, he called himself Mr. Antonio, and he called himself Mr. Guido. And so all of his music got kind of spread around all over the place, and it's hard to find it. So that's why we only know of a handful of pieces by him, one of which is his Four Seasons. So what's the difference between his Four Seasons and Vivaldi's Four Seasons, because there is one, and it's a very simple thing. Vivaldi's Four Seasons are true Italian concertos, slow, fast, slow, that feature the violin in a very virtuosic way. Guido's Four Seasons do feature one of the three violins that you'll see playing a little bit, but it's mostly an ensemble piece, and instead of fast, slow, fast, three movements, the Italian concerto style, it's the French suite style. It's a whole bunch of little pieces, and you string them all together. But he did the same thing Vivaldi did, tried to tell a story. So his story is mainly about the mood and things you do during the fall season. So this is Fall from the Four Seasons of the Year by Giovanni Antonio Guido. Thank you. 
composer Joseph Cosma and French surrealist poet Jacques Prévert collaborated in 1946 to create one of the most iconic ballads in popular song history. Les Feuilles Mortes, or Autumn Leaves, as we know it here with Johnny Mercer's lyrics, was originally a song used in the 1946 film Les Portes de la Nuit, The Gates of the Night. The lyrics tell of love lost and regret. You'll be able to read them just before we perform the piece. The song was also closely associated with the French actor and singer Yves Montand, but has been covered by major artists as varied as Nat King Cole, Willie Nelson, Frank Sinatra, Eric Clapton, Miles Davis, and even Bob Dylan. The version we will play for you today is an arrangement for string quartet by the great 20th century composer Toru Takamitsu. We're not sure what occasioned him to arrange this song, but he said it so beautifully that it must have had special meaning to him. This is Les Feuilles Mortes.
next work, The Fall Season from Tchaikovsky's The Months, also called The Seasons, was originally a set of 12 character pieces written for piano, each meant to describe a different month of the year in Russia. They were commissioned by the editor of a St. Petersburg music magazine, who also suggested the titles, and were released in the magazine one each month during the course of a year. Due to the work's popularity, it has also been adapted since its publication for chamber ensemble arrangements, orchestral and solo settings for a wide variety of instruments. The Troika for the month of November was a favorite of Sergei Rachmaninoff, and he played it often as an encore. We hope you enjoy Tchaikovsky's Three Impressions of Fall in Russia. Thank you. 
Well, that's it for this program. We hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the new look, the new format, uh, but still the same great music like Laura said. And we'll be back in about a month with another Playing It Safe program that will feature three of our wonderful wind principals. Principal Flute, Rita Leinard, Principal Oboe, Jennifer Berg, and Principal Bassoon, Jonathan Castillo. We're gonna play some really fantastic wind music with them. So don't forget to come back and see us then. And of course, there's gonna be lots more digital content for you throughout the next several months. We're gonna stick with you, so stick with us. Um, and stick around for a little bit as the credits roll and listen to this uh, nice new closing music. Uh, it's a very special piece for me. When I was a kid, uh, my dad was a wonderful drummer and singer. Uh, his dance band used to close out their last set with this song, I'll Be Seeing You. So it's an old sentimental favorite of mine. Um, so we will see you soon. And play it safe, be smart, and stay well. Bye-bye.